join the team. Hey team, it's McGuire Review, and today we're going to take a look at Paizo's newish uh, Pathfinder Knight of the Grey Death. Now, this one is what I would consider more of kind of a one-shot adventure. This isn't one of the, like, one of six, like a larger adventure path multi-book type series. This is just kind of one of these, hey, I'll pick it up, I've got a group within the right range because these do uh, really revolve around your group or your characters being at a certain skill level uh, or level in their progression that, you know, you could do some modifications probably here and there to, to kind of wiggle it a little bit, but it's really designed for 16th level characters. You can see kind of in the overview there, we do flip through the book a little bit. Don't want to give away too much if you are playing through this versus uh, GMing this. Uh, but I do show kind of the back here, give a little information on it, as well as the MSRP price, which this one carries a $22.99 MSRP price. Again, you can find it uh, obviously cheaper than that, but that is the full MSRP price on this, uh, and well worth it uh, for these higher level groups. Now, in this one, you're really going up against the masked gray gardeners, uh, and they are powerful. They do have magic guillotines. Uh, and they are a, a pretty pretty big foe to deal with um, in this in this setup because it is that higher level character that you're going to go through. One thing that's nice about these is they do offer uh, like map setups here in the beginning. There's maps throughout the adventure, and you generally find like a map kind of on the final page as well. This one here. Night of the Grey Death has got three chapters, which follows pretty much a standard for most of these books that you're going to go through, uh, as well as an adventure toolbox, which is really cool that they add in, that gives various items. Arch, There's a Grey Gardener archetype that actually you can pick up that's in here, which is pretty cool, uh, and various other things. One other thing that you'll find here when you get right into past that first page is a definition and a kind of a run through of each one of those chapters and what you're going to find. Another thing that's cool is the actual advent advancement track that you'll find here. So we'll list out that the adventure is designed uh, to be, uh, you know, taken on after your level 16. Uh, however, it will kind of give you how much advancement this this will this will provide for the party. You can really take a party almost to the max, really, through this one. The heroes should reach 17th level prior to doing certain things, the Masquerade, the Masquerade Ball. Um, and then heroes should reach level 18 before venturing into the crypts. And heroes should reach level 19 level by the end of the entire adventure. So you will be able to take your party kind of through those end levels if you do have level 16 characters or a party. The other thing you can do is just... Uh, set everybody up with a level 16 character if you just want to run this as one special one shot but it does give you some options there and it does follow that kind of horror theme uh, for the season which is pretty cool now if you are watching this right now and you're like well i kind of wanted to do this around you know halloween or or whatnot um, and i don't have the physical materials you can always go to paizo's subscription service and pick up these things in pdf on demand right away so if this is something that you're seeing and you want to go ahead and run your group through kind of for a little halloween special uh, you still have time to do that just go pick up the pdf and you can have that stuff right there on demand which is a pretty cool service that paizo uh, actually offers you can get subscriptions through that and everything it's a, it's a pretty awesome thing the other thing that i'll call out on this which i thought was neat as you go through the adventure is the fact that you do go through kind of times over the course of the, the evening. So it's like, okay, it's 7 p.m., something's kicking off at 8 p.m., at 9 p.m., at 10 p.m., and it just kind of goes through the evening hour by hour and things that you're going to experience as a group, which I thought was a, a pretty cool design and concept that you really feel like you're going through the course of the evening and there's different things you're interacting with as you move through the evening, which is something that I thought was pretty cool that you get to, uh, you know, go through the course of the evening hour by hour, and you get to actually fight some pretty deadly, uh, pretty deadly uh, monsters in this one too, which is pretty awesome. Okay. Now I do want to also call out that they did release a wet, dry, and permanent marker erase uh, mat for this specifically as well, which I think is something pretty cool that they're doing where they're releasing just specific um, you know, maps and mats for some of these one-shots. Again, these are very 
I, I don't want to say completely generic. They they go right along with what you're going to need in this in this uh, adventure. However, they are uh, will use the word generic enough to be reused in a number of ways for for other things as well. And they're super thick, super high quality. Um, again, they're wet, dry, and permanent marker erase that you can just use actual permanent markers and just wipe it right off. Um, don't be uh, concerned. They are pretty thick. Don't be concerned with, with this here. Literally, after this is sitting on the table for five minutes or so, it just naturally kind of starts to flatten out. You can push on it just a little bit. Uh, it will it will flatten out actually really nicely. It, it's already flattening out, and that's because it's a really thick piece of paper, and just the weight of the paper will, will start to kind of flatten that out. So you'll see it's a nice big map. Here you'll find the crypts. This is one of the uh, near the end of the adventures, kind of the crypts layout. And again, it's not giving away too much. You've got some crypts, some different little areas here the players can explore. You can cover those areas up if you want with pieces of paper so they don't really know what they're walking into. If that's something that you might want to do, uh, that can always be fun. And then here on the other side, you'll find kind of the masquerade ball area with different tables and the main sort of dance area. Here's kind of a magical guillotine it's uh, it's a really cool setup, and I will say that for this particular side of the map, it is just a beautiful map. Like in the purples and the burgundy colors that they use, the detail on the wood floors on this one, I don't think I've ever seen a map that is detailed out this much on like the wood floors, and even sticking with a classic... Uh, square style wood store wood floor it has more of kind of an older classic feel so this right here is just a beautiful map and i can see myself reusing this uh, in lots of different ways so really well done on on this particular map and again you know goes right along uh, with your adventures so really cool map if you just want to pick this up uh, by itself, or if you want to pick it up to go right along with Night of the Gray Death. So, if you do see this, I, I do recommend it. This is a pretty cool uh, little adventure and run through and perfect for the season. So hit that like, click the subscribe below to join the team. Keep rolling them crits. This has been the McGuire Review. See you next time.